I'm going to show you how to get your PC panel set up. So the first thing you'll notice when you're unboxing the PC panel is that it already has a USB cable attached. So all you need to do as far as the hardware setup goes is to take the USB cable and plug it into your computer. The rest of the setup will be done on the computer with installing the PC panel software. Alright, so here we are on the computer. Um, after you get your PC panel unboxed and all plugged in, you can go over to the PC panel website. Uh, the URL is www.getpcpanel.com. And from here, you can go to the download menu on the top and you'll find uh, two different buttons. Uh, the left one will be for the PC panel software and the right one will be for the latest version of Java, which is required in order to run the PC panel software. So once you have the PC panel software downloaded, um, you can go through the setup process and afterwards you will have this icon placed on your desktop and this will be for the actual PC panel software itself. And after you um, open the software, you can immediately notice the four knobs uh, which correspond to the ones on your panel. You can see the current version number. Right now I'm on version 1.0.7. And uh, in the top right, you want to ensure that your PC panel is being recognized by your computer. So if you see that there's a blank right here, you want to ensure that it's selected to a COM port. Uh, in my case, it's COM6, but you may have a different number. So now with all of that out of the way, we can go on and program the PC panel. So let's start here with volume one. Just by clicking on it, you can see that it brings up a menu for knob one. So here under this tab, we have all the configurations for your button. In my case, I have it set up for music control, but you can have it, um, so whenever you press the button, you can have it press a key, you can have it open a command, you can have it close the program, or you can have it change the sound device of your computer. So you can switch from headphones to a speaker. But in my case, I'll just leave it as the play pause button for my music. And over here, we have um, the volume menu, and we have it set up to control the overall volume of the computer. So I can open up volume mix over here, and you can see that as I turn the knob, it uh, changes it on the volume mix over here, as well as changing it over here in the PC panel editor, updates in live time. And so uh, we can go through the rest of the volume controls here. So on the bottom left, you have logarithmic control for your, um, for your volume. I prefer to keep that off, as well as um, you can specify what program um, you would want or what programs you want the, this volume to control, as well as a current focused window for the volume control, and we can talk about that later. So as we go into volume two, I have this one set up as music control, as a previous track, and I have the dial set up as the volume for the current focus window. So you can see that in action now. I have the window that's currently focused is the PC panel editor. And as I change volume two on the right, you can see that it is being changed on the volume mixer on the bottom right. So into volume three, I have it set up as next track as the button. And for dial, I have it specified to be Spotify.exe. And that's how you want to label the program that you're trying to focus. And as volume four, I have it as mute for the button. And as the dial, I have discord.exe. So we can put all of this to the test in Spotify. So just to ensure that everything's working correctly, I have the play pause button on PC panel. Then I have the forward, I have the backward, and I have the Spotify only focused window, which changes right here. And as you can see, everything's working correctly. With all these steps done, your PC panel is fully set up. If you have any issues, you can contact our support through the PC panel website and follow us on Twitter to get updates for your PC panel.